Hello, good afternoon. Today I'll be speaking to you about a case of total thumb pulp reconstruction using the free feel out flap. So thumb pulp injuries can have significant impacts on hand function, leading to emotional, social and economic challenges for patients. The primary goal of surgical reconstruction in these cases is to provide early soft tissue coverage of the underlying structures in order to preserve the length and function of the digits. There are a number of procedures available for thumb pulp reconstruction, um, however choosing the most appropriate reconstructive method can be challenging as it depends on the extent of the injury, patient factors and the surgeon's technical expertise. So our case was a 65 year old male carpenter who sustained a circular saw injury to his right dominant thumb. Our patient had no medical comorbidities, he was however an ex-smoker with a 30 pack year history. The patient was self-employed and his main priority was returning to work as soon as possible. In his case, a number of local flaps were considered, however, the defect was deemed too large for life-to-life -life reconstruction. Furthermore, the patient was not willing to have any two-stage operations. We therefore decided to proceed with the free phenar flap, as it could be done in a single stage with minimal donor site morbidity. So under local, uh, under regional anesthesia with a brachial plexus block, the free phenar flap was raised with its ulnar border in the phenar crease for an inconspicuous scar. It was also raised on the superficial palmar branch of the radial artery with a distal subcutaneous vein and the palmar cutaneous branch of the median nerve. The flap was transversely inset with an end-to-end -end anastomosis to the UDA, venous anastomosis to the dorsal vein, and the palmar cutaneous nerve was anastomosed to the UDN. Furthermore, to prevent compression of the anastomosis during closure, a small split thickness skin graft was placed over the pedicle. All in all, the operation took 150 minutes to complete. Tourniquet time was 60 minutes. The post-operative course was very uneventful and the patient was discharged the following day without any immediate or delayed post-operative complications. The outcome at six months was fantastic. The patient was extremely satisfied with the results both in terms of function and in terms of appearance. His range of movement was almost identical in the treated and the untreated thumb with a TAM score of 120 degrees in the treated and 150 in the contralateral. His grip and pin strengths were again almost identical in the treated and the untreated thumb. Um, and in terms of sensation, the sensation was slightly reduced in the treated thumb. However, it was continuing to improve and he did have protective sensation. Furthermore, this patient was able to return back to work after three weeks with amended duties and full capacity at six weeks. Overall, there are a number of advantages to this flap that we want to highlight. Firstly, it provides durable, glabrous skin for reconstruction. Secondly, it's been shown to have a very consistent arterial anatomy. The, the, the artery that it's raised on is a perfect match for microsurgical anastomosis with the digital arteries. Furthermore, uh, it allows a, a segmental defects to be managed with a flow through wrap. And unlike pedicle flaps, this flap can be inserted with flexibility, allowing early joint mobilization, preventing stiffness and scarring. Finally, this operation can be done in a single stage, in a single operating field, with a single donor site under regional anesthesia. So these patients have a very good recovery time. Thank you very much.